Today, South Carolina Governor McMaster declared May 30th through June 5th as South Carolina Hurricane Preparedness Week. Now, of course, we don't live on the coast, but we can still get big impacts from tropical storms and hurricanes. Seven Weather Chief Meteorologist Christy Henderson explains what to look for when the coast is not clear. Hurricane season officially begins June 1st and all eyes will be along the coast when storms churn, especially since another active season should be on the way. In an average year, 14 named storms, seven hurricanes and three major hurricanes would develop. This year, NOAA is predicting 13 to 20 named storms. We know the patterns that create a favorable environment for hurricanes, but what we don't know is exactly where these systems will form and more importantly, where they'll make landfall if they do at all. Hurricanes and tropical storms can impact our weather here in the Western Carolinas, but the threat usually is not going to come from our own coastline. Our biggest threat is from Gulf Coast landfalling systems because they're often steered our way. With enough speed and power at landfall, a tropical system can bring strong winds to us when it moves through. In fact, just last year, Hurricane Zeta prompted tropical storm warnings for almost all of our area. Major problems with flash flooding and severe storms can develop as well. In 2004, Hurricanes Francis and Ivan made landfall on the Gulf Coast and brought devastating flooding to the Carolinas and a deadly landslide at Peaks Creek in Macon County, North Carolina. If you live at the bottom of a mountain, you need to really keep an eye on these tropical systems as they head in from the Gulf of Mexico. They can dump a lot of rain in a short period of time, and that can cause landslides in the mountains of North Carolina and even South Carolina. Here in Saluda, several years ago, a landslide impacted this area, and it's just now beginning to grow back. It's different when a tropical storm makes landfall at the South Carolina coast, though. These systems often curve to the north before they get here, so we usually stay on the calmer left side of the storm. Hurricane Hugo moved on shore in September 1989. It curved north and brought wind damage to Charlotte with much lower effects in the western Carolinas compared to what others saw just to our east. Despite living far inland, tropical storms show us almost every year that they're not purely coastal events, and even though we don't necessarily need to put together hurricane kits, we do need to keep an eye on the coast, especially the Gulf Coast, when a storm begins to strengthen in the tropics. In Spartanburg, Chief Meteorologist Christy Henderson, 7 News. Another active hurricane season means the potential of running out of names like we did last year. But rather than using the Greek alphabet, the Hurricane Center issued a second set of names if we run out on the first list this year.